Ma, ma. My dog is like a lover. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've given a lot of thought to how I would unpack the history of my eating disorder and how diets played a major role in me having to accept and admit that I've been living with an illness for almost seven years. But I think it's really important to begin by discussing the stigma around eating disorders. I never felt thin enough to have an eating disorder. At my lowest weight, my BMI was still considered healthy. And at this weight, I remember my loved ones and friends and family telling me that I looked healthy and happy and glowy. So I distinctly remember looking in the mirror and thinking, well, I can't be sick because I'm healthy and I'm happy. But the truth is, the way that I was eating was controlling my life. I would staunchly follow diets that would give me a sense of self-worth. And it was like, it was like my own little secret. And it sort of justified to me why I had love in my life and why I was worthy. I want to tell you, as I am telling myself, that you are worthy, irregardless of your weight, the shape of your body, the color of your skin, your economic status, anything. You are worthy by being. And if the people around you don't reflect that feeling back to you, you need to make new friends and build a support system that loves you the way that you need to love yourself. I also really want to emphasize that it is okay to ask for help. It's okay to have difficult conversations about painful things. I sometimes worried about opening up to people about the more painful things in my life because I thought that it would make me less of a joyous person or maybe I'd be judged if I was happy because how could I be happy if I was sad? But what I've learned is that with a broken heart, it's the only way that the light gets let in. And with that, I reject the stigma of anything that challenges the norm. I could look into this camera and tell you that by admitting and accepting that I've been sick for so many years, that I'm now free of the pain that came with hating my body but I'd be lying to you. I'm learning that love takes time and love is hard work, but we are reminded by our good old friends at L'Oreal that we are worth it. In my introduction video last week, I mentioned numerous times that I encouraged you to listen to your body. And in this video, I really want to go into that and discuss what it looks like and what it feels like. But before we can listen to our bodies, we have to learn to love them unconditionally. I am learning to look at my body objectively and say, body, I love you. Body, I will nourish you and care for you in love. Because when you love someone, you don't want to harm them, put them down and compare them. You want to tell them that with your love, they are capable of achieving anything. If we start with love, I truly believe that we can start to listen to our bodies and say goodbye to diets forever. Last weekend, I also made a post to my F words which discussed my thoughts around the movement of cheat meals and cheat days and why I think it needs to come to an end. We have allowed society to dictate to us which foods are good and bad and which foods we have to earn or feel guilt around eating. For instance, if I allocate Saturday as my cheat day or day that I can have my cheat meal, every single day leading up to Saturday, I'm going to be depriving my body, not listening to it, and then come Saturday, I'm going to be ravenous for anything that I've told my body it can't have. So maybe on Tuesday, I felt like chocolate and I would have eaten two pieces of chocolate and been fine. But I suppressed those cravings, told myself I can wait till Saturday to have it, Come Saturday, I may eat the whole slab of chocolate and feel guilty and horrible about myself. And therefore, I'm building a relationship that is really bad with food. So for the first time, I am trying to eat intuitively, which closes the door on what society tells us to eat to be slim, fit, healthy. I am by no means telling you that if your body is telling you to eat 20 donuts, you need to eat 20 donuts. Because remember, if you're choosing to eat out of love for your body, you're not going to put anything into it that makes you feel sick. Last week, I also made a promise that I would never, ever, ever step on a scale again. 
and in reflection I realised that that is still giving all the power to the scale. I'm taking the power back and saying no matter what number is reflected back to me, I will list it under the facts about myself. I will list it under the fact that I have blue eyes and brown hair. It's not going to define the way I feel about myself. So on Monday, I think it was Monday, the fact that I can't even remember is like insane to me, but I think on Monday I weighed myself for the first time in about a month. And up until that, I was weighing myself up to four times a day. And with whatever was reflected back at me, I would determine how much I would feed my body that day. So I weighed myself, maybe on Monday, maybe Sunday or Tuesday, not sure. But I weighed myself and I still saw a number that is the highest I've ever seen. But from when I weighed myself last, which was about a month ago, um, I have lost six kilos. And I want to emphasize though that this is with no means of following a diet. This has been with intuitive eating and um, intuitive exercise. But irregardless of that weight loss, this journey will still have a focus of gaining love and gaining acceptance. I am looking forward to making videos that show how I am intuitively eating and intuitively exercising and also how my body settles at its happiest weight. And for the first time, I'm letting my body show me what its goal weight is. So I hope that this video sort of, I'm, I really am easing into it because it's quite uncomfortable speaking into a camera about things that are quite painful, but thank you for your patience and thank you for your love and support. And I, again, really look forward to taking you along on this journey of figuring out what it actually looks like to love and accept your body as it is today. Remember to be kind to yourself and to others, and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye!